Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're beautiful. No, it's not right, guys. We got part of the middle. Welcome to the Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm RJ. Oh, hey, I can use the camera to my mirror. <laughs> You're RJ. Will you stop? Just put your hat on. I got That's why I put my Pee Wee Herman there. Okay, it is October 15th, right? Episode numbers at the top of the screen. 154, I think. So, and you are? I am Pee Wee Herman today. You are RJ. No, I'm Pee Wee Herman. Okay. I even got the hair to match Uh huh. Anyway, alright, so, welcome to the episode. If you have not watched before, we are just kind of silly in these things, but it lets you know what's going on. It's a breakdown of just everything. Yeah, yeah Pee Wee Herman. Uh, it's how our week has gone. So, if you haven't watched any videos or we haven't had a chance to put up videos, this is our weekly update. So, let's start. And he's just dorky. He's just here for amusement, I guess. Okay, so, in the barn stalls. What do we got going on in the barn stalls? Let's start with, we only have two more weeks of the meat sheep breeding pen, right? Yeah. And then we're going to shake it up and start the seasonal breeding. Yeah. And Mr. Seabu going to go out. That'll be the first of November, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, still have the calves going, right? Mm -hmm. Anything else? Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Quit, you're not supposed to show in the shed. Quit. I don't even know what it is. Put it down. Um, so tell us about There's the horses. A hole in my bucket, dear lies, dear lies. All right, all right, all right. Tell us about the horses. What's going on with the horses? Well, they eat, they get those, they poop, they sleep. Okay. They have a pretty simple life. We sold storm and that's it, yeah. right? Sold storm. Where's precious then? Precious is off being tried. What does that um, mean, off being tried? Somebody's trying her, see if they like her. So, is... So, and... Potential new home. A potential new home has her, which... <laughs> is also a friend of ours, right? Yep. Okay, so, how many horses we got here? Does that mean we're down two horses? No, I got another one in. Okay, so explain this deal. What's going on? Come on. Uh, well, we got rid of two. We got two in. New colors, new names. Same old, same old. We get two in. Get two. Got gray and whiskey. Oh, I gotta grab up whiskey. All right. Well, you better bring up the date. We got us a bottle of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> I have a small clip. If I can find it, I will cut it in right here. Okay. Good morning. Been a long night, hasn't it? A normal stormy night. Okay, so RJ, who is this? This is Whiskey. Now that's not really her full name. No, it's part of it. Um, what is her name? Docs OSU Whiskey Gal. You can't call her Doc. You can't call her OSU. You can't call her Gal. So her name is Whiskey for now until we figure out something else. Who is she? Where's she come from? And what's her plan?
Okay, so if I didn't find the clip, or it's on the other computer. We sold Storm, that was last week. Precious was being tried at that time. The lady came and tried her. She's also a friend of ours, so she's just, what, four miles down the road? Six miles down the road. Six anyway, miles, seven. It's a friend of ours. Six miles and that she way. Has, and she had another horse that she wanted RJ to tune up so that she could sell. And it's an older roping horse. So RJ's working to tune it up, right? And what's her name? Gray. Granny. Granny. Oh. RJ just calls her Gray, but her name is Granny. That's what um, Jenny's dad had always called the horse. So um, she's papered and has this really long name, but um, they call her Granny. So Granny's here. She's not ours, but she is up for sale, and RJ's tuning on her. Then tell us about Whiskey. Um, I bought her. Okay, but who is she related to, and why did you buy her? So we don't just buy mm. random horses either. So she was pretty on the side of the road. We pulled in there and bought her. That's not true. The gentleman that we bought Coop from mm -hmm. years and years and years ago yep. got word that either Coop's sister or cousin, we're not sure how they're related, um, was up for sale. Half sister. Half sister or cousin was up for sale. RJ got a hold of the guy, said, hey, you know, what age, blah, blah, blah. And so he ended up buying this horse. And what is her name? Whiskey. No. It's what a is long it? freaking name, but Whiskey. <laughs> no, it's, it's got not. like Doc OSU. Doc's OSU Whiskey Gal. Yeah. So that is her papered name. Um, But we just call her Whiskey. And have you put your rides on whiskey? One. Okay, one. But he's done groundwork with her. Yep. And then um, have you put any rides? Star came back home, and did you put any rides on Star? One. Star has one. Um, how's Durf doing? Good. Good. What did he do yesterday? Um, got saddled and pony. Yep. So he we was saddled. Need rolls. That's what I keep forgetting. If you'd stay out of this, you'd be fine. Um, and how is Ice doing in Coop? Good. Okay. And the donkeys? Great. Where is the little, uh, Murphy? He's in the barn right now. It stormed last night. Yeah. Anytime it storms, we put him in there because we don't have the stalls done. Which brings us right to mending fences, right? What did we do? Are you making too much noise looking here? What did we do this week? This is making noise. Stop. That is making noise, Mom. So. <laughs> Fire away. Okay. So, um. What did we get back? Shot. Fire away. Hit me with your best shot. Okay. Fire away. That's all I know that song, so. It you don't want to know shot. the rest of the words because that's not. Yeah. <laughs> not a mother son, daughter, a mother son duet there, dude. Oh. Yeah. It's that's a song about. Know. Yeah, she's talking to a player. Oh. Well, yeah. you got a bag full of beanbags. It fits. <laughs> okay, so anyway, come on. Come on, come on, come on. What do we start working on? It didn't be the pen. Oh, I thought you were talking about eating cookies. No. Oh. Come on. What? We put up some posts. Mm -hmm. And we got the, all the posts are in for the new horse runs, right? Mm -hmm. Um, My truck is still in the shop. There was a mess up with some of the parts. He bought, um, because my truck is so old, um, there's a narrow window when that style of truck was made. And it's they all look the same, but the mounting brackets mount different places on my truck than on most. So, um, he's having a few issues, right? Yeah. And we haven't been able to go and get the things that we need. We strung the one strand of barbed wire, and I put up all the posts. But until we can go and get the rest of the um, fencing stuff, or the stuff to do the stalls, I'm kind of at a 
stand still. So um, when we get my truck back, we'll get on that, right? Yep. So we did get the other uh, barbed wire. The problem is, is then it stormed last night, so now we can't get out there with the truck and unroll it, right? This Saturday, Dad got called into work, or this is Sunday. Dad got called into work, too, so we're kind of out down a man, right? In the yarn farm, we've been working just on little stuff. I'm getting ready to start some spinning. I've got all my craft stuff done, I think. I just have to package it and get it in the box ready to sell. Uh, what else in the yarn farm? Anything? No. Yes, yes. That's where we put this stuff. Um, we're going to kind of have to mix in the farmhouse and that because I went for it. Not really, I guess. Um, okay, so that's OHCE. That's great. You and Dad bought that for me. That's why it looks so familiar. Um, anyway, uh, he's playing with my cross, my other cross. Um, I have my glasses today, so I can be up. No, he didn't. He has on my glasses, my reading glasses. Anyway, okay, so OHCE invited the farm. To do what? What did I go down? I don't know. I didn't know. Lotion bar. Oh, lotion bar. Yeah. I couldn't remember. So, um, while I was there, these ladies put together like a country little store and they think up crafts to sell at this store. And it's to raise money for a scholarship fund, which they give to, I think, two local youths and there's an adult one. And it's not a huge <sighs> um, scholarship fund. But they work all year to get any money that they have for it. And one of the ladies made this, which it I guess it could be a shelf, right? Quality. Look, it, it could be a, a shelf, right? It's got the little angle things for the shelf. But okay. there's a hole in it. There's a hole in it. And this one happens to be a um, sunflower. Yeah, get it? My son's looking through it, and it's a flower. My sunflower. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, and they sold these. <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> and they sold these. So, for like, and I gave just $15. They do hurt, dude, when you hit me in the head. You tell me, you threw one at me. And, yeah, but I didn't. Actually, you threw two of them on my head. Anyway, so there is four with rice filled and two with bean filled, but they look the same. So, I went with it and just. Got them all, and it was fifteen dollars for that and that little thing. Um, the shelf things tip it up so that when you put it on the um, ground, yeah, they can see back here. Yeah. So that when you put it on the ground, it's kind of slanted up. There you go. And then, and you just horrible, <sighs> horrendous, terrible. Perfect. Worse. <laughs> Got it in. Uh huh. Anyway, um, and you see all the dust coming off the floor. Watch so, this. This is how you put babies. And the cat's going for the hot tub. Mm hmm. That's how you one. miss playing bing beds. Anyway, we're going to use it on our country, um, our spring on the farm. And, and this year, Ooh. instead of doing vendors, we're going to have. Uh, oh, yeah. Games and the kids are going to compete for low prices. So, um, and this will be one of them. And we'll just have, you know, whoever can do it the furthest back. Just for the record, now you all know where I inherited my terrible, terrible beanbag toss skills. Hey, I have skills. If she I was missed sitting first. I was not even facing it. Did you anyway, have to creative yo behind the back. Boom. Anyway, oh, so here, now I'm going to go gather them all up. The beanbag. Hey, I wonder if I can hit it from behind the back. Oh, it's not. Anyway, so I picked that up. I also want a flower arrangement. It's beautiful. So, um, it's right. not as beautiful so what as else? me. Hey, what else? Come on. Um, quit. You oh, you're shaking. Hey, you're shaking the camera. Calm down. We are at Yarn Farm in the fields. I did a short update this week. Um, the zucchinis. I harvested one to see if they were even ripe, and they're not. They're still green, so it didn't work. Um, I'll be waiting longer and seeing. This I thought the squishy stuff was enough, but it's 
I don't know if it's going to turn green or brown because I don't know what variety it is. So um, whenever it turns color, I guess. I thought I had understood what I was doing, but nope. So um, we still have those. I've got to go out and move the strawberries before the frost comes so that they'll be settled in and, and doing good. Look at the camera. It's getting good. No, wait, wait. Look at it. It's huge. Yes, you do have a big head. No, just my eye. Just my eye is big. <laughs> You've got a big head, too. All right, so anyway, um, will you get me one of those slices, please? Then, Look at my eye. come on, get me one of those slices, please. Some slides? Yeah. Then I've been working on two other things. I guess this would be in the farmhouse on the porch. Uh, put, get one with some writing on it, I guess. Just get that red one with writing on it. Um. Oh, I know what else I made. I made 25, no, 30 um, dry erase board erasers. Um, we do an adopt a classroom program and the lady said that she needs something to erase um, dry erase boards with. So I crocheted up these and then I gave her a little um, lingerie type wash bag or for your dainties or your personals, however you want to say it. But while I was doing that, I figured out that these would be really cute with my soap. So from now on, you're going to get a little um, wash rag so that you can wash your face with my soaps. I like them. Um, but I'm going to put one of those in with each of my soaps. Uh, for hers, I just made hers white because that's the cotton I had. And then I had a little bit of yellow left. And I just kind of hodgepodge them together. I had a little of this peach. I had a, oops, a little of the yellow, a little of the peach. And they're just like, and then I had this um, green. And when I ran out <laughs> and I took and did as much I had the little peach and did the white, and then I had some green. I had one that yellow, about that much, so I made those. And then the green, I just didn't have enough. I did this one, like those other two, and then the second round was enough to do another center, so I did two of these that are centers. I don't know. They kind of look flowery, and the rest of them I just made white. I just made white. <laughs> Um, like which is kind of an off-white. So um, I made those. And then I also made these getting ready for our little craft fair. Uh, things that the kids, now remember, all the little kid items that are going to be for personalizing, there's nothing going to sell over a dollar. So this is going to sell for a dollar. And this one says Tori and Zach because my daughter got married and I just wrote 2017. I just put oh, 17 down here in the date. He's got a seashell on it, which is left over from her wedding. Um, and then we attended a birthday party today for my aunt. She is 70, correct? I thought she was 25. Yeah, she's a lot young. <laughs> we weren't discussing it, were we? No. I, but anyway, Aunt Mary, we call her mean old Aunt Mary, but she's really sweet, isn't she? So we did that, and I think that's oh, really all I've been working on. Um, oh, will you go get Grandma's thing? That's a good. Um, when Grandma passed away, uh, she had a couple of things that my aunt didn't want that she wanted to trash. RJ, will you go get that blue thing? Yeah. And I have found I'm going to take all the little ornaments that I made, the little block ones with the bling on it, these. The little matchbox ones with the hidden um, character in them. And my granny. And I think this would be something that if any of you are crafters or um, vendors, this would be an amazing thing for you. And they're really easy to make. But I need to fold it up and burn it in here by the handle. It has hooks on it. Oh, yeah. I was playing with the placing of the hooks. Okay, back it up into this box so they can see. All right. It's just made with that uh, pegboard, and Grandpa just trimmed it out and put hinges on it so that it would, and then it folds in, and this goes on here. Um, of course, it goes empty. And then these are just little hooks that are the little peg hook kind of hooks. And I was playing with how to um, space them. But 
it'll fold all up and you carry it. Or did you show them how to put the handle on it? Put the handle yeah. on it? No, your hand's in the handle. Oh, yeah, there's a handle on it. And he even put like a little drawer handle on the top. And so that's how I'm going to display all of these. And Grandma had a bigger one. Now, Grandpa's favorite color was blue, so everything we get from her is blue. <laughs> um, but that's how I'm going to display all of the little ornaments like this. I don't know if they're all fit out because I've got a limited number of hooks. Um, and I'm not going to go order hooks just be because. But um, I've decided I'm not going to package these in bags until after the craft show. So um, when they go to the barn, things tend to get dusty. That's when I'll package them in bags. So the little ornaments that can be personalized and all that stuff. The little magnets is going to go on a dry erase board, right? So anything else that we've got going on in the farmhouse that I've been working on, getting stuff done? Not really. Hello. No. Anything else? What have you been doing? Riding horses. Okay. Are you still working with Kevin? No. No. So we told him about that a while back. Yeah. He quit his job. And my truck is being repaired. I bought it back and it's being repaired. So we'll have it back in what? He said a week or so. He's yeah. having trouble finding parts. But that's okay. I told him not a big deal. We're doing just fine. Lee and I have learned that we can get along with one vehicle. If it wasn't for the animals, we wouldn't even need a truck. So I've learned to do my shopping after he gets home from work or on the weekends when he's off. And I don't go anywhere I'm here at the house if he's got the car someplace. So it actually works out really good, doesn't it, son? Yep. Yep, RJ's the only one that's not really liking it. Huh? Yeah. What is Jethro alerting me to? There's something coming up there. Somebody's driving around. Yeah. And he is taking notes. So, all right. Anything else? Huh? Had a storm last night and it tore up a piece of wood. So I just got to go out there and take down what's left of it on the fence, right? We're, We're what? Attached? RJ, I hear somebody, but I don't see it. And Jethro sees it too. Don't run away. Yeah, you just hooked my shoestrings together with that thing. Uh-huh. Anyway, all right. So, anything else going on, son? Dog has his ears at 10 and 2. That's the yeah. code for. There's something else. I can hear the motor. I don't know what it is, so. And he's watching intensely, so. He takes off barking. He's going to run to the door, you or me. You. You and your shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so just working on a lot of little things. Um... Anything else? Oh, where's all your crosses you made? Where's your saddle? Oh, it's done. It's so, not done yet. Okay. So, tell them, RJ got a new you, new to him used saddle, right? Mm -hmm. And how old is this saddle? It was made in 89. I'm not in a good mood to do math. So it's Never almost, in a math mood. It's almost 30 years old, right? It'll be 28. Okay. Uh, that 28 yeah. would be almost 30, dude. I know. But I just said I didn't want to do math, and then you made me do math. No, school. I didn't. I said he's almost 30 years old. But then, I, I, never mind. Then I couldn't stand for you to say almost. I had to figure out the exact number. So I had to do the math. Okay. So, and what are you doing with it, and what's it need? And need It's actually need down on the bar, but it's what? Oily. Yep. It's leather. It's being oiled up, and then what do you do with it? Take it to a friend of my grandpa's. What's he going to do with it? Put a new seat on it. And then what are you going to do with it? Put it on a horse. And? Hopefully use ride it. in it. Ho hopefully not fall off. <laughs> yeah, hopefully so. use it. So, alright. So you've been working on that, and making your, what for the? the crosses. His he made crosses. 12 of them. He made a dozen rope crosses for, um the craft fairs and we have two craft fairs one on november 4th and one on november 11th the fourth is for church and the 11th is for the choir and band at the school i had committed to the choir and band at the school and then um the church that we did last year asked me and they lowered their price so 10 bucks why not go for it um all right anything else 
sister got married yesterday. It was nice, right? You married her. And you were a what? Usher? Door opener. Door. <laughs> he was the usher, and he um opened the door to let the procession come out. We'll and he played Here first. Comes the Bride. Mm -hmm. Do what? Uh, yeah. The uh, the groom's mom was supposed to go, and then I was supposed to go because I was officiating. So she went down, she lit, lit Zach's candle, and then I was supposed to go down, light my candle, and go up front. And she was going to go sit down afterwards. It, it was really worked out cute. Um, but the ring bearer was back there, like, screaming and yelling. And so we just let him go in between us. <laughs> Right. Well, really let. It was more of a, I opened the door and he ran out. <laughs> yeah. So, and it's like, okay. And so the groom was like, no, go back, go back. It's in the wrong order. And I'm like, let it go, let it go. Just, it's fine. So, um, yeah. He didn't even bring his little pillow. He just took off running, didn't he? Yep. So, there was the ring bearer. He's just learned to walk. Why they would have a ring bearer that, that's, that is that little, I don't know. But he was screaming, and instead of letting him scream and yell and cry through the whole wedding, we just let him go. So, other than that, I think that was the only glitch. Besides, um, my daughter took a wife. Yep. <laughs> I accidentally said wife instead of husband. So, uh, Your daughter took a wife. Yeah, and she just repeated it right after me, too. <laughs> a guy wife. That's okay. Nonetheless. I wouldn't yeah, yeah, she called her husband wife. I mean, that wouldn't have been creepy, but it was a guy standing there. But it was a guy, yeah. Um. Anyway, anything else? After that, we went to the reception, Um. came home, big thunderstorm blew up, and RJ's got to get that piece of wood done. But other than that, I think that's about it, isn't it? Mm-hmm. All right. Ooh, and we're just tired because then today, it's Sunday, so we're going ahead and just including today and today's. Um. What do we have to do today? Uh, Lee ended up getting called into work. In the middle of the storm last night, they called him and said, can you come into work? So he's like, okay, but that means i got to go to bed now. So he went to bed, and then he got up early this morning, went to work. Then, RJ, where did you and I go? Um, a birthday party. For Aunt Mary. I think we already said that, didn't we? Yeah, you already said that. So, anyway... But just one of those days, kind of a lazy day, huh? You gonna go out and check the cows next? Yep. If you lose that cross, you lose your life, boy. How would I lose it? If you let go of one of those ends, it's gonna fly off. I am not going to let go of those ends. I Famous might drop life. them. But I don't think <laughs> and where's the cross gonna go? About up in the air, hopefully. <laughs> just flip up in the air. Just <laughs> you remember catching it before it hits the ground, huh? And I can just go, pow! And he and bat he it can't all even play basketball or baseball, yeah. No. I can just go, boom, and grab it. Yeah, you know, I have this rubber thing. I can just <laughs> help them with it. Let's play. <laughs> Let's not. I give. Okay, a lot of nonsense, but you're up to date. A couple extra horses in, right? Um, we do have to discuss one thing that we should have put in the barn stalls. Serious note. Um, we are now on the hunt for a billy goat, correct? Yeah. So, I have a cage that we can put in the old pickup. As soon as I find one, I'll go pick one up. But I'm not going to go looking very far. I'm hoping next Saturday to go down and maybe save one from a kill pen at a local sale that has them. Correct? Yeah. There's another sale that's like up here in Coffeeville, but I don't know. It's like on a Tuesday night, and I don't know which Tuesday night. So I don't know First if we missed Tuesday, it. First Tuesday night. So I don't know if we've missed it or not. Do you? Probably November before they have one. Yeah. Well, no. If it's the first or the second Tuesday. This is the third week of October, huh? Oh, yeah, it is. It'd be the first, second. So, yeah. So you got Missed it by a week. So Just Saturday, week, I'll probably... Um, go. There's a goat sale down at Collinsville every Saturday. Maybe I can go and find something. I tried to find one on the internet and they just, I asked if they were proven billies. They were an Angora buck and I asked if they were proven and they didn't understand what I meant and that means that they're not breeding ones. So I'm not sure. And they looked older and if they're older they should have been with 
some females by now. So why they would be that old and not proven kind of made me nervous. Son, what do you think? Uh, eh, besides, the only thing I need the billy goat for is we're not breeding angoras anymore. So we're breeding for my milk. So I could have any. I could run a boar goat on them, correct? Yeah. But I want something with a little leg on it, don't I? Yeah. Because most of the people that get ours like Nubians, they like that taller stance. So yeah. they like longer legs, huh? Yeah. And they use them for t like, uh, goat tying at rodeos. Yep. So, all right. I think that's the only thing that we had to do. Anything else? No. Okay, we're going to get off here, and he's going to go check the cattle and get back to work, right? Yep. All right, we're out of here. Adios. Peace out, Girl Scout. Uh.